Now, even though I spend countless hours in the kitchen, there's some days where I just don't feel like cooking or spending a tremendous time in the kitchen. So, this is a quick dish. Again, this is something Isa made the other day. I had it. It was fantastic. It's really, really simple. And it's relatively quick. I'm going to take a filet of salmon. I'm simply going to coat it with a little bit of salt and pepper. This is another thing that I learned is I used to always salt my things after. Uh, you need to do it before. We're going to use some cracked pepper, a little coarse pepper. If you have cracked, it's better, but this is the best that I have, and I'm not going to go out and buy pepper. <laughs> I'm not going to go buy cracked pepper. That's it. We're going to take a little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary. We're going to take a saute pan. We're going to put it on a medium high. Get the, get the skillet really hot. Put a little bit of olive oil in there, and then we're going to add our, just throw this right in. And we're going to let those flavors, just, just let those flavors come out into that oil. And then we're going to take our fish. We're going to sear it on both sides for about a minute and a half on each side. And then we're going to go right into the oven at 400 degrees. And you make that as long as you like. Some people like their, their fish more on the, on the medium side or medium rare side. That's me. I like more of a, a, a sushi grade. Well, my, my, sushi, my fish is sushi grade. I always get my fish at Doris's. I'm a sucker for good fish. So when I was down the other day, I saw that they had this, this, this salmon, but I bought the grouper instead. So I went back today and I got myself a nice piece of salmon. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to sear it real quick, boom, right into the oven. This is going to be the quickest dish I ever made. Let's see how it turns out. All right, so I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. I'm going to add my herbs, let them saute up. Man, it's going to crack a little bit, that's okay. I had a little bit of water on when I cleaned them. Just turn that. Stand back! Stand back! The attack of the herb. Let that saute just, you can smell the fragrance of, of the herbs just coming out. My God, it smells fantastic. So we're going to just let this heat up here for about one minute and then we're going to immediately put our fish in here. That herb is released. I'm going to take my fish and gently place it in there. Woo! Fantastic. Just about a minute, minute and a half on each side and then it's going to go into the oven. And the reason you put it in the oven is that it, it cooks it more evenly instead of when you do it on the top, on the stove top, it has sear on the outside and then it's raw in the middle. You want to make it so it's, so it's prepared more evenly. Another trick from Isa. Unbelievable. Our fish is good and seared on the one side. Now we're going to take it, sear it for one more minute here, and then directly into the oven at 400 degrees. Okay, into the oven we go. All right, our salmon should be done. That looks fantastic. Now we just need to plate it. Set that on there like that. Put some of these beans. This is Issa's recipe. Some fresh tomato. I'm going to put it right over top if you'd like. Mmm, that looks fantastic. Beautiful. There you have it. A fantastic salmon dish prepared really quick, very flavorful. And another specialty of Issa with these CC beans. This is a fantastic dish. I hope you try this. It's quick, it's healthy, and it's really flavorful. See you soon.